Hey everybody, well, I already crashed my drone and I damaged one of the motors so it's not working. But luckily we found some on Amazon so we don't have to wait five months to get them. Um, I'm going to tell you, if you buy a drone, if you want to buy a drone, when you buy your drone, order replacement engines at the same time because eventually you're, you're going to need them. When the motor went, three of the propellers were spinning and one was not. The first thing you want to do is take out the screws on your propellers. There's four of them and they're the more fatter ones. You want to keep these separate because you're going to want to remember where to put them back in place. But anyway, after you get to that point, you got to take the propellers off. You can see I already did this to make it look easy. And my wife figured this out, my lovely intelligent wife. When you lay your blades out, can you want to get this? Have them, the warning labels all go to the inside. And when you put them on, the warning labels on the inside, the warning labels on the inside. Spin it 180 degrees and do the same exact thing and your propellers will be back on correctly. Another thing I figured out, the scoop of the propeller always turns towards the inside of your drone. See that? Scoop on the inside, scoop on the inside so it turns this way. There we go. That way you don't put your propellers back on wrong. Okay, but here we go. We already got this apart. Oh, don't tell me it's stuck again. <laughs> and the talking you hear in the background is our African gray parrot, Macy. <laughs> Who is also on YouTube. There we go. Comes apart easy, flip that aside. I remember it was this motor. We did test it. Um, the other three spin and this one doesn't. We're still waiting for uh, the delivery service to get my motor here. But in the meantime, all you need to do is from the bottom. Got that? Got it. Right there on that spindle, that's the bottom of the motor. I think you can kind of push this down, push up on the motor and there it goes. Pops out easy peasy. And I did watch one video. The the guy made a good point. When you, I'm not I'm not soldering. I'm splicing. I'm taking the easy way out because that's just too small. And it's yeah, it's just too small. I don't want to mess up my board. And then and I'm really up the creek. But I'm gonna cut the wires here. That way, um, somebody made a good point. You don't know how many times you're going to be replacing those motors, so you don't really want to cut it up here to where you shorten the wire. Keep it out here. And the new one will have a wire about the same length. You can just coil it in here and tuck it away. We even got two-way tape, didn't we? Yes. Uh, you can get these motor motors rather cheaply on Amazon. We ordered a four-piece set for only $10.00 with two days shipping. So as soon as the mail gets here, we'll yeah. be installing the motor and showing you then how it works. Yeah, two, two red and blue and two of the black and whites. That's what we got. So. We'll be back yep, when once, the when package we, arrives. Yep, okay, we'll see you then. Okay, Mr. Mailman showed up. I got my motors, I swapped it out. I didn't want to show all that because it would have been too long and tedious. Well, the Motor's all hooked up, I've got it turned on. And just to let you know, can you see that? It's spinning. So I'm gonna put this back together. And then we'll show you what it looks like with all the propeller spinning. Okay, we got it all together here. I'm just putting the last screw in on the last propeller. I don't think you want to sit here and watch me put 24 screws in. So, 
plug the battery back in. Here we go, moment of truth. There we go. All done, and it works. 